The only thing that can limit you is yourself. We are so infinite and capable of absolutely anything. All you have to do is think of something, picture it, feel it, and you can create it. It's way easier than we've been taught to believe. And that's why it's kind of so mind-blowing. Things are so magically simple. The universe works with many different cosmic laws, and one of them is balance. So we get what we give. We will receive the same energies that we're, we're emitting. How can we receive change in our environment if we don't change something within ourselves first? Change will always start within, always. That's why I've been getting better with my daily meditations. I know it's necessary, so I really try to get myself to be able to just sit down. Osho has a good quote, and it's, don't just do something, sit there. And yeah, I love it so much because it's, it's so hard to like calm our little monkey brain, but really like it's so important and we have to do it. We have to be able to just sit and be because we're beings of light and not doings of light. And remembering to breathe because the breath is everything. That is how you can connect with yourself more. And for anyone who is getting into meditation for the first time, I suggest using your breath to connect because that, that is a great thing to focus on when you are trying to um, look within. One thing I want everyone to understand is that there is no wrong way to meditate. That everyone has a different way of connecting with themselves because we each are so unique. How can there be one way of meditation? Like, that's why we have to throw away, throw away ego and realize realize that it's just it's just perspective there's no right or wrong meditation is divine and it's there's no wrong way to do it but I recommend that you do because it's it's very necessary in our evolution With meditation, we are able to tune in and to connect with those higher energies, our guides, our angels, whatever you may call them, but they're always present, they're always watching. And the more conscious that you are of their presence, the more present they can be. If there is one, pr one prayer to say a day, I would say make it thank you, because gratitude is what manifests. And without gratitude, we won't be able to receive anything more. Abundance is created with gratitude. Only when we are grateful enough will we then receive more. But it starts with gratitude. So count your blessings. Ask yourself, what are you grateful for? Really, we have so much, like I'm grateful for this iPhone that I'm filming on, and this tripod, and this table, and this room, and the clothing on my back, and the water I just drank, the food I just ate, all of it. You know, we have so much, we have so, so much, and we're just surrounded with beings of light and lovers here to ascend Mother Earth. We're all here for the same reason, but a unique reason. There would be no collective without the individual. Together we rise. We must see how divided we are in order to unite. That is the only way. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in, supporting me. My book will be out soon on Amazon. Um, can't wait to share it with you all. Uh, I just upload a new blog post um, on cosettedemille.com. Make sure you check it out. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you guys. I love you. Blessings.